A little bit of continuous instability, but non-severe significant weather across Northeast Ontario. Good evening, Jonathan Kovac, based in Timmins, for your social media, Timmins and area web weather. Watching the weather as I do all the time. It's almost 24 hours a day, seven days a week, although I cannot get online all the time. But thanks so much for tuning in, and thanks for allowing me for a slight format change or tweak in format just to make things work out while I'm not on camera. Thanks for your support and interest. Here is a satellite picture from early this morning, from midnight to noon, almost a full 12 hour window. We have a backward spinning low just west of Moosonee, Ontario. And if you're wondering why we got the sun, the cloud, and then some periods of snowfall with the gust of wind and back to measure sunshine and cloud, this is why. The cloud cover is not necessarily all organized because there's breaks in the overcast all over the place from extreme northwest Ontario right through to our broadcast region. Trough of low pressure west of Hearst this morning, which advances closer in the Timmins by mid-afternoon. And the second trough, which is going to add into the instability, meaning some regions between Lake Superior and all the way up towards extreme northern Ontario, there are some isolated warnings and special weather statements with regards to blowing snow, poor visibility, gusty winds, and lots of snow to be expected with some significant accumulations as well. We are not in that window, thank you very much, but there's still enough of cold temperatures to keep a trace of snow on the ground for everyone in Timmins. By mid-afternoon, there's a trough of low pressure just west of Timmins, north of Cochrane, Eureka Falls, and it's east of the Capus Casing Hearst region. Despite that, the cloud cover looks like it's beginning to break up just a little bit. So this is one of the few waves of clouds that we've seen come and go from west to east, where it's overcast with some snow, and then the snow takes a break, and then the sun comes out for just a little bit. And the best radar picture I can capture before the intermittent outages from the Smooth Rock Falls and Moonbeam radar site is this scattered bit of snow all over the broadcast region between 2.30 and 5.30. It shows up, then it just kind of dissolves. It picks up in intensity and dissipates and continues drifting from west to east.